Hello everybody, and welcome back to Beautiful Fruly. Starting the video off today with giving the cow some food. They should like this a lot. After we do this, I'm going to take some milk to the dairy. We can get that turning into cheese, because we want as much cheese as possible by September. That's when the price is supposed to be the best. I'm going to get that sold as soon as it hits September. And uh, then after we do all that stuff, I'm going to hook up to the wagon and take it down to the sorghum field because that is now ready to be harvested. That'll be pretty nice. First time harvesting sorghum in the game. So a new experience for me. Can't wait to get that done. Good. Back this up here. I did power wash this thing off too because it was so filthy. Like, man, if I was a cow, I wouldn't want to eat food that came out of that dirty thing. So, I better clean it for them. But yeah, just before I started filming, I went down to the dairy to check it out. I have a lot of crates of cheese. We should get a really nice payday in September from that. Look at that. While it's filling up, let's close these doors. Uh, better go ahead and open this as well. Alright, 2,882 liters. Not a whole lot, but every bit helps. Alright, let's take this to the dairy. Here's the field. I wonder, I've never harvested sorghum before, so I'm not sure how well it'll yield. It should yield pretty well because I got all the fertilization stages on it. So I'll be interested to see what the rate is on there, because yeah, like I said, I've never harvested it before, so I don't know if it'll fill up slowly or if it'll fill up fast. That'll be interesting to see. Alright, I'll show you guys too how many piles of cheese I got. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five. Five full crates. I like that. I will probably, before the end of the video, I will probably skip ahead to September so I can sell those because I want to see how much I get for it. Alright, guys, I got the tractor and wagon down there at the uh, field. I'm just bringing the combine and header back. I'm just now noticing down there at that bottom right corner is that supposed to be a screen? I didn't think this combine was new enough for one of those. <laughs> Everything in here seems pretty old. Tell you what, a nice thing about having planted the top half of this field with oats is uh, gives me a perfect place to put this uh, header at hook up to it. At least I think it does. <laughs> yeah, plenty of room. Yeah, look at that, that's a beautiful feel. Alrighty. Well, let's put her about here. Good, that gives us plenty of room to work. Um, also, I was thinking about the barn situation, about where I'm going to put the new barn. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and find a field 
that is up here or this field over here to put it in. I figure those are kind of industrialized and urbanized areas. Now I won't ruin the beautiful scenery out here in the country. So that's what I'll try to do. See if I can find a field that's flat enough in one of those areas to put the barn in. So that way I don't have to put it out here in the country. Oh, I'm not sure the best way is to go about harvesting this. I think with this top part being harvested, it's all about the same length across. Same length, same width everywhere. We'll just start over here. Make an in row. Hold this. Now let's check out these crops. Okay, cool. I didn't realize that it just took off the top part of it. I didn't know it left so much behind. That's pretty cool. I like that. Interesting. Alright, let's get on with it. Alright guys, making the last pass on the field. Hey what? This stuff has yielded pretty good. Like watching it rise up in there. I got a full load in my combine, and that was enough to fill up that wagon. And now I'm over halfway full. So yeah. I think that was pretty nice. It was a good idea to plant this stuff. I think it's really unique too. I've never planted it before. And I've never even seen a harvest it in real life. I've seen I've seen real life fields of sorghum before, but I've never seen it being harvested. So I didn't know this is how it I didn't know it left so much standing when you did it. It's pretty cool. I get every last bit. Very nice. But pop the pipe out. I'll unhook from the header, and then I'll take the tractor back and unload what I have.
go. Very nice. Well, I'll go ahead and hook up to that trailer as well. All right. Let's jump in the tractor and take that up to the farm and unload. Man, look at that. Very nice. Put up the tarp. Don't want to lose any of it. Like I need to move uh, some tomatoes away from the greenhouse so I can get room for others to appear right there. Got a lot of eggs as well. Very nice. I had canola in there. Why don't we have? What did I pl <laughs> What field did I- Oh, it was the field right in front of the house. That's what has canola in it. <laughs> well, I'm, my mind is everywhere. When is the best time to sell that? Should I pass it? I think I did. Yep, passed it. November, not till November. Okay. All right, let's rush back to the field now. Get the rest of that done. I thought about having an employee bring the combine back so that it saves me the trip, but I remember last time I tried to get an employee to drive on here, he just drove straight into the trees. I don't think I'll mess with that again. And that is a sharp looking combine out there. I, mean, I need to see if I can plow up this grapple path right here. Because if I can, I'd like to buy this field right here, field 8, and then just turn this all into one big, massive field. That would be pretty cool. There we go. Man, we should hopefully make a pretty penny off of this stuff when it sells. Got a lot of it. Just cut through here. I was hoping it would leave tire tracks through here just so I can look at the cool tire tracks, but I guess not. Oh, forgot to put my tarp up. Don't want to lose any seeds. So that, that brings us to, what did I take back there, 8,000? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was 8,000, so that would be 13,413 liters. Pretty nice. Let's find out, this should tell us. Uh, no, 7,999 is what it says I put in here. I thought I had 8,000. <laughs> 13,412 liters of sorghum. Not a bad deal at all. Let's go ahead and... I'll go ahead and park this. Um... And then... I think I'll sleep a couple days in catch you guys in September and I will have my uh, wagon loaded up with cheese for the supermarket or wherever it is we take it to sell I can't remember so yeah I will catch you guys 
about a month's time. Alright guys, I just got my trailer loaded up with six crates of cheese. So I should be making a good bit off of this. Uh, the best place to sell it right now is the restaurant. So we'll see if we can find our way over there. I've never gone over there from this direction. I think if I take this road, it'll take me to the main road that it's on, I think. We'll find out. I see there on my map. Okay, I'll just follow this map, this road straight across the creek and then take a right. And that'll take me right to it. And I'm excited to see what I make off of this. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a good bit. Ooh, I thought that guy was going to walk out in front of me. That's a pretty walk right there next to the river or creek, I think it is. You got these woods right here you can walk in as well. Oh, I'm going off the road. All right, here we are. Oh man, I can't wait to see how much we make. Oh my word. 33,000. <laughs> I like that. Oh, yes, ah, uh, that dairy was well worth the money I spent on it. I tell you what, I love that thing. It is a money-making machine. Very nice. I'm extremely happy with that. All right, uh, concerning next video, I'm not sure when it'll take place. I know I need to plant this field with wheat. That's what I'm going to plant with. So I have food for chickens. So I need to plant that with wheat. But I don't think there's anything else that needs to be done aside from that. If that's the only thing I can find to do, and I came at this from the wrong way. <laughs> if that's the only thing I can find to do, I'll probably just plant the wheat off camera and skip to the next year and get the new farm get the farm upgraded and everything like that and show you guys a new farm if I find however if I find more stuff to do aside from just planting that with wheat I'll probably film that video but yeah if not if I can't find anything else to do aside from planting the wheat in the next video you guys will be seeing the new and upgraded the farm should be pretty exciting so yeah let me park my tractor we can say goodbye to the animal Oh, and also, I figured out why the chickens were producing so many eggs and why it seemed like I had to give them the food every day. Because I had a full chicken house. I think that pen can hold 200, and I had 200 chickens. So I sold a good number of them because I didn't want to have to keep feeding them. I am tempted to just go ahead and sell the whole lot of them. But I love having chickens, which I need food right now, but I'll do that later. So yeah, that'll be it for today. Thank you guys very much for watching. And me, the chickens, the sheep, the cows, the bees, and hope. We can't wait to see you guys again very soon. Bye.